out. And that's why victims of domestic violence need to know there is help. WCBI's Chad Groening has more. Appreciate everybody coming out. Bringing awareness to domestic violence is very important um, in our community and everywhere. Get set. More than 30 runners braved chilly weather to raise awareness of domestic violence. It was the 7th annual Silence Hides Violence 5K run. It's just not spoken of. Um, domestic violence is everywhere in our community, um, just all around the world. So we want to bring awareness to that and um, make people aware that there's shelters and there's help out there for those victims. One of those domestic violence shelters is safe, where Kristen Adams is a counselor. Domestic violence is a problem because there's just a lot of um, controlling spouses out there, jealous spouses, um, and it's not spoken up, up enough. Um, there's a lot of fear and stigma that comes with it. A lot of women don't, don't like to speak up about it um, because people look at them and ask, why didn't you leave? Why didn't you get out of there? And that's just, it's just not that easy. And Cabers is approximately one in three women are victims of some kind of domestic violence. I feel like that percentage would go down if it, if it was spoke of more and it was, people were more aware of it. While it is an absolute outrage that one in three women suffer from domestic abuse, it is unbelievable that one in seven men are also victims. The stigma is really big with that. They do not like to speak up because most people will look at a man and wonder how can you be a victim. And just most of the time they're not going to speak up, so those stats are probably even higher than we know. And Adam says male victims have another problem. Most of the time the man is going to go to jail uh, because a lot of time people just don't believe the man. that They think they're just being, they're reversing the role. Um, even if, if they're just trying to defend themselves, if they ac if the woman might accidentally get a scratch on her or something, that's proof and they will go to jail for that. Whether the victim is male or female, Caber says help is available. If you need help or you know someone who needs help, um, there's a hotline that you can call. Also, um, we have a page on Facebook. It's Safe Inc. in Tupelo. Um, you can reach out to us in any of those ways. In Tupelo, Chad Groening, WCBI.